with all the news and accessible information which is coming out chances are strong that during the next cycle xrp may outpace btc now do i think that just because of this article here no there are legitimate reasons for that when you actually go through this you'll understand that as the world is now more than tired with the chinese gift to most of the countries and with this authoritarian uh, nature of china if you see value in the video please do hit the like subscribe and the bell notification icon to get notified about the future videos i think bank of england is more than correct here because they are looking at private companies or intermediaries for doing their business ahead and when we actually look at these charts what you can understand here is that price is actually responding to all these fundamentals in a positive manner we are getting higher highs and higher lows from last 53 bars now this is on a well our time frame so that's 26 days now you can ask is that it and i'll answer no we got much more because in terms of charts and technical analysis and the viewpoints based on the price fluctuations we can actually compare ethereum and xrp and when we actually do that we understand that xrp can dominate here as well not only to when we look at uh, xrp and btc but also when you compare it with ether we can see that xrp still has a lot of room to the upside to move to the upside so that's actually creating much more positive attitude from the buyers as they actually look at all these different layers of support and a resistance many were talking about bank of america acquiring xrp which is not possible in the normal world as it is a decentralized asset but now we should be happy with this when bank of america states the regulatory compliance of ripple makes it the favorite fintech for them or the fintech of choice that's cool because think if bank of america thinks so i bet 99% of other banks will agree with the same thing and the financial institutions will actually go towards that now this document shows the relevance of xrp and those who still think you know about libra should read this about libra what they are considering it how it is being considered as a stable coin and more now yes libra is still considered as uh, innovation and it's still there because there is a lot of innovations being happen you know innovations are happening all around us that doesn't mean everything has a real use case because when you actually look at these two you can actually understand that for cross border payments or remittances and as a solution for these pain points which are already understood xrp is there shows this actually shows you xrp and cryptocurrency as they are showing it here mm -hmm. now this is not an old article if you actually look at it it's in 2020 late jan mm -hmm. so that's not much old so that's actually the relevance of this asset now why i'm taking you guys to this because you have to look at this first a deep recession is looming now again if you actually have to connect this you actually have to go back here look what's happening here try to think what's happening here and then look at this one and then this one because it really resonates well enough at least for me when i'm looking at this i understand it like this when the economy is in an unfavorable condition you will most likely be looking for you know value for your money so it's for sure that you'll definitely look forward to pay less in fees and get the cost or money to your loved ones as soon as possible when you are an expat working outside that will be your first priority when the economy is like this now at the same time this makes real sense say a uh, real utility and you know the utility is currently looking like it's on a launching pad with all of these happening concurrently and uh, you know when these are actually happening what you have to understand is the price is not moving 
much i agree but the volume on different exchanges are skyrocketing if you take xrp to philippine peso if you take it to australian dollar mexican peso this is happening so when it goes live with euro and other corridors that's gonna make the price go much higher and you know many will actually definitely think about moving into a digital world i agree i completely agree with that but moving into a digital world to reduce friction doesn't mean that they are actually moving close to china or uh, you know they are moving close to a financial system which is dominated by china i don't think no one actually wants that in terms of different countries because when brad states this it's not only to us the retailers right we are small guys he's actually not talking directly to us whereas when he talks big guys will be sitting and listening to him like you know the higher management guys from the banks financial institution and other reputed organization and regulators so they will be thinking about the same and the future of the digital payments or say the new financial monetary system when they actually look at that they won't be looking at it like ah oh, we'll go to an asset which is controlled say 60 or 80 percentage by china no 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 i don't think they'll actually look at it like a decentralized asset because when they say decentralized asset they really mean that now as we discuss from the charts we have different information in the chart which actually represents different price points which if we discuss we'll get that clarity but we will actually discuss those technicals more in the upcoming video if you see value in the video please do hit the like subscribe and the bell notification icon to get notified about the future videos help the channel grow reach out to more of our community members